G'day! We're going to have a look into this Acer Proto Helos 3D15. This is the Spatial Labs Edition. So it has this really crazy, cool, and really out of the eye opening experience stereoscopic 3D display. Now, this is a 15 inch gaming laptop. It's really what you got flagship components for this in 2023. But really, it's all about this really cool display. Now I've actually created an unboxing and also first impression and also other people's reaction to seeing this and also experiencing this stereoscopic 3D display for the first time. If you haven't checked those video out, I'll put it in the link in the description below. Definitely don't be missing that. And this really has to be seen in person. Now I've actually spent a few weeks already with this Special Labs edition of this Helios 3D15 and definitely I'm really enjoying my experience with this stereoscopic 3D display. And we're going to have a talk a little bit about that. We'll also have a look at the temperatures and fan noise and some of the other features of this Special Labs edition of this Helios 3D15. Now I just want to quickly demonstrate the Special Labs edition of this and just what you will see. Now again, you won't see or feel the experience. You just see probably a lot of lines and doubling up and that's kind of what it's trying to do to help really focus on your eyes. There are actually more cameras here and that's to actually track your eyes for it's a one person experience. Now you do have the Special Labs Experience Center. Now it's normally sitting down the bottom up there, just pinned down, but you just go look in the, in the applications. Now, the really main software you would run in this is really the Special Labs Go or the Special Labs True Game. Now, the, there is a model viewer, so you can actually load in some other 3D models. It does have support for most of the major 3D modeling uh, extensions and also a Special Labs video player. Now, this video player is a bit of hit and miss, in my opinion. I think it's getting a bit of uh, updates here from Acer, which is quite nice to see, uh, but overall, this is probably the main software you would run. So you need to actually run the Special Labs Go. Now, this software does like to sit in the system tray. So you just need to sometimes just right click on it and just to launch it up, just to bring this thing up if you clicked on it. So at the moment, we've just got the Go experience. You'll see it is now experience up here. Now I have, again, from my unboxing, you'll probably see this uh, come through. Now I'm just gonna do on Google. This is just gonna be doing on, now you do need to put the application in full screen for this to run and then click on go and then you would then convert the 2D content. Now side by side basically puts the two contents side by side but it's really not, I don't know what's really useful but at the moment I'll really only say just use the 2D content. Now I'll put this one in 2D mode now it's going to turn and you'll see there is going to be a lot of now it's actually tracked my eyes because I'm looking from my side here because I'm actually here it actually sees my eyes from this angle and I see it in 3D but probably be a bit more dizzier for you. Now this actually does this is just Google Maps uh, Google Street View and I do see the depth coming through here uh, in my eyes I'm actually seeing it. it's really cool that how it actually confers this on the fly I really see the depth of down here now even for that canon I actually see now as for the games you will find the games will be under the true the special labs true game now in this true game I'm just going to launch this up here so you can actually see there is quite a number of support games for this 3D Ultra now 3D Ultra basically get even better, more depth for the actual 3D support. I'm just going to close this off here so you can actually see this. Now, as I've, I've been running, this is the game that I actually own, uh, which I actually have, which is near automated, but there is a quite a list of other games. Now, I'll put in a link in the description below. There is a list of games that supported, uh, which you can actually find without having to put actually go through this it is listed on the acer website for the game support and it does get updated a bit as they get more support now the difference between 3d ultra and 3d is basically the depth you also can also can control the 3D depth, how much depth you want, and also the, how much pop out you want as well too. So that's really cool. And again, once you start playing, you actually start getting this through. So really, really cool to actually see. It really looks like the depth is actually going in towards the screen. And it looks like you're playing with like, you know, all those um, models like the Warhammer sort of uh, models. That's kind of what it looks like to me at the moment uh, with this sort of play style it is really going into the display the depth is really really nice uh, it is really gorgeous to actually see the depth and it really gives you that really immersed feel to how 
you actually in the game I can definitely see when I start moving the swords and as it comes through I can see it's actually flying away from me it's really cool how that runs off now this is a game that uh, just a normal game that I would have, that does not have 3D support. Now I have found you can run the goal to actually convert the 2D to 3D. It is actually does work. Now you may have to play around with some of the hotkeys. For example, the normal hotkey for the goal is usually Alt T, but because Alt T is also used in another hotkey from this game, I have to remap the the goal command. So I've got to go Alt. E and now let's just turn it off but I've now in 3D scholar mode as you can see I'm straight in there I see this in 3D you might probably see like double triple visions of this but I definitely can see this is a really cool and it still has a really nice depth uh, in coming through here so really cool to see the 3D effect and I'm still playing this out it's, it really had brought some a lot of my older games back to life and stuff it's really cool to actually be able to play things in this sort of 3D mode here. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, so I'm not doing very well in this fighting scene, but it has a really, give you that nice immersive sort of feel to it. Uh, really, really cool. And I will Alt T and I'll, I'm back out again, back to a normal 2D. Now I didn't find that much of a performance hit for the, all the different games uh, with the 3D or not having 3D. Uh, you, I really don't find there was much performance hit as you probably see. So that's now just 2D mode, and having this put into, oh, which is now in 3D mode, that's in 3D mode. Again, I didn't find so much of a performance hit from actual 3D, but again, you probably want to connect this to free to power while you're doing this. Uh, but definitely, I have been able to play this 3D supported games and also for this and put it in 3D and even on battery powered and I did not find they actually run that much more battery power with just even 2D or 3D. It's actually fantastic there. While I was giving other people experience of this stereoscopic 3D experience, I also noticed that eyes were not actually crossing. So you know the old style where you get the two images and then you cross your eyes to try and get it make it look a bit 3D. Now that's what I was kind of expecting for something for stereoscopic. When I hear stereoscopic, we mean two, two. And I actually did not find my eyes or their eyes crossing at all. So it was actually quite comfortable. It does take about one or so seconds for it to adjust. And what you can do sometimes if it doesn't adjust you correctly, you just move just a little bit and it will automatically track and then it adjusts and then you'll just hit it right there. And once you get it, you get it. And your eyes just focus on it and it just stays focused all the way through. And I did not find my eyes were actually fatigued extra fatigue from the experience uh, but once you actually come off it and definitely just that split second makes some cause some nauseous just when you're actually coming looking at it and at coming out of it just those two just those split seconds just for a little bit you just it's just letting your eyes adjust between the two but else it's been a fantastic experience measuring the color gamma coverage of the 4k display on the helos 3d 15 it did measure in a maximum brightness or luminance of 400 nits. It resulted with 99.6% sRGB coverage, 97.7% Adobe RGB coverage, and 86.5% DCI-P3 coverage. This is a recording from the 720p webcam from the Helos 3D15. This is the video and audio unedited screen. Here and see what the quality of webcam is like. And as always, I've got two types of lights currently turned on. I've got my one stereo turned on, and also the downlights in this room are turned on for ambience. I'm going to turn off my one stereo light off, and you'll see this adjust. Wow, it adjusted very, very quickly. Now, the two downlights in front of me is a bit far away. We've got one semi half covered, and so there's not much light here on my face. This is what I consider a dark environment. If you've been in an office environment, you should have much more light than what I'm currently at. I'm going to turn my one stereo back on again and see this adjust. Again, it adjusted very, very quick. This adjustment absolutely fantastic. And I do wish that I actually put a 1080p webcam instead of a 720p or just give us an option for a 1080p webcam would be absolutely fantastic. We are in 2023 now and we do a little bit more content creation or even just doing video conferencing. Just nice to have a higher def webcam. But definitely love to hear what your comments of this webcam. Put a comment below. 
there are two speakers located on the bottom front on either side of the laptop. And when I tested out the maximum volume of the speakers, it managed to measure a peak of 89.2 decibels. Now, I actually consider this on the upper end compared to other laptops or even for gaming laptops as well. So it does have some pretty decently loud speakers. Now, as for the sound quality of the speakers, we do have some bass, which is tries to push a bit of that punchy bass, but I like to have a little bit more depth to the actual bass itself. Now, it does have very strong mids and highs, and it is balanced more towards the, I would say, between the highs and mids, and it does have some nice acoustics, but it doesn't have that much reverb. And I like to actually hear a little bit more crystal clear for the speakers. Interesting enough, the sound profile more seems to be for voice, and which is more like business use than actually for gaming where you want it down low or for listening to music. But overall, the actual speakers sound decently nice. Now the keyboard is individually lit by mini LED lights. It's very nice to see. Now there are four settings for the keyboard lighting. There is off, low, medium, medium high, and also very high. So there are four settings for the lighting controls. Now you can also have an area display, which you can then just customize different areas, which is really nice to see. And each intro key, I do find it is very quiet. All the keys are very quiet, which is surprising. I would actually expect this from a business laptop, but this is a gaming laptop. And as for the tactile feel, you do get a bit of recoil back as you actually press them. It's very quick, uh, but it is actually much more softer than I would expect from a gaming laptop. But still, I really love the LED lights from here. Now, while we're here, well, I just might as well just show you about the fan controls at the moment. You can put it into a custom mode if you find it running. You can go for max. You probably can now start hear it it's quite loud. Uh, auto is probably what you want to keep it at normal at the time, but you are able to actually customize the fan controls on the two fans in the system, one for GPU. Now, also because I've got this connected to power, I do have open up the performance and turbo mode. Now, normal times, I would actually leave it as in performance mode, but when I'm running my benchmarks or if I want full blown speed, that's when you put it on turbo mode and then it just unlocks it all the way through. Absolutely cool. I really like the actual software. It is quite stable as well. There's also a button which you can switch between the different modes. So at the moment, it's white, it's in quiet mode. You just press it. Now we should actually get into a balance mode and then which is blue and then we can get into performance mode which then starts blinking as a, sort of like a very light purple and then you can go into the crazy speed which is the turbo mode and that is that pink and then you'll start to really hear that pan go off here. Look at the temperatures and fan noise when I took my measurement my ambient room temperature was 23 degrees celsius. So I took my base measurement when the computer was idle and the hottest area around the keyboard measured a maximum of 34 degrees celsius and as for the fan noise it stayed dead silent at 30 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 45 degrees celsius then i put 20 percent load on the computer that's pretty much average use so that's tasks like office productivity work surfing web streaming video and the hottest area around the keyboard measured a maximum of 32 degrees celsius and as for the fan it did spin up and it had a maximum fan noise of 38 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 48 degrees celsius then i put 50 percent load on the computer and the hottest area around the keyboard measured a maximum of 38 degrees celsius and as for the fan noise stayed at 38 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 59 degrees celsius then i put a hundred percent load on the computer and the hottest area around the keyboard measured maximum of 42 degrees celsius and as for the fan noise spun all the way up to 51 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 75 degrees celsius then i put the computer in turbo mode allowing the computer to perform at its very best with a hundred percent load and the hottest area around the keyboard measure maximum of 38 degrees celsius and as for the fan it screamed all the way up to 57 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 92 degrees celsius also measured bottom back cover while it had 100 percent load and the hottest air around the back cover measure a maximum of 47 degrees celsius when the fans are at its max you definitely hear those fans really spin but boy is this laptop cool it is so cool to actually touch any part of the computer the helios 3d 15 comes with a big 90 watt hour battery and when i tested out the battery life 
I managed to get 3 hours and 31 minutes for Modern Office Battery Life Test in PC Mark 10, 1 hour and 38 minutes for gaming, and 3 hours and 15 minutes for video playback in the Procom Battery Life Test. Now, I'll actually consider this on par with other gaming laptops at this sort of spec. When I was playing games in stereoscopic 3D, in basically in the 3D mode, I did not find it actually drained any more extra battery compared to playing a game in 2D mode. So good to see that the actual Spatial Labs display doesn't actually drain extra power while it's actually in 3D mode. Here's the benchmarks for results performed on the Helos 3D15. And here's the results for Passmark, Citibench R23, PC Mark, 3D Mark, Geekbench 6, Crystal Disk Mark, Cross Mark, Procon Office, Procon Photo Edit, Procon Video Edit, Procon AI, Windows ML, Procon AI TensorCore RT, Pugin Photoshop, Pugin Lightroom, Pugin Premiere Pro, Pugin After Effects, Pugin DaVinci Resolve, Blender, Furmark, Octane Bench, UNG Engine, and Spec View Pref. And some gaming benchmarks like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Far Cry 6, Cyberpunk 2027, and F1 2022. Now it comes down to the price tag. You do pay a little bit of premium for this stereoscopic 3D display experience. Now, as of a recording of this video, here in Australia, you're looking at about $7,600 for this Spatial Labs edition of this Helos 3D15. Now in US, you're looking at just shy of $4,000 USD. So compared to other gaming laptops or other laptops at this sort of specs of i9 13th gen with the RTX 4080, you are paying a little bit more for this Spatial Labs edition. But I can definitely say, if you've got the money to burn, this is definitely well worth the extra little bit of premium tax experience of 3D and all the ad to actually convert 2Ds to 3Ds it's still just amazing and absolutely fantastic. Now as for professional work, I definitely can see this Special Labs Edition stereoscopic 3D definitely work in the CAD industry. I think it's even very useful even in the real estate industry for demonstrating or showing to other clients off the plan or even just other sort of architecture sort of things as well as interior design i can definitely see that being very useful for that sort of things or even engineering or civil engineering design and it's sort of cad work there i think this will be absolutely fine besides the gaming fun factor of this so definitely i think there now acer do create and also sell the spatial labs edition of our monitor and also portable monitor of the Spatial Labs Edition. So you can get this stereoscopic 3D experience of just the monitor only and just put them to your existing computer. There is available, so check those out from the Acer site. But definitely something to be experienced and I really enjoy my time with the Spatial Labs Helos 3D15. Now as for other components here, the thermals here is absolute top spec. You can really, it has the thermals to actually expel all that heat that creates from this i9 and also this 4080. So absolutely crazy. It does come at an expense of really loud, but you can run it at its performance, which actually brings down to a much audible sort of playing experience. And you still get around about 90% of its speed there. But if you want to go at its max, or just rendering, you put in another room, definitely you can hit it at its max and let it run. for well, it's absolute crazy how good the actual thermals on this here. Now as for the keyboard, that is something more of a personal experience. It's actually interesting that it has a very sort of soft and quiet feel for a gaming laptop more for my realm with all the business laptop it actually feels more like a business keyboard than anything else than a gaming keyboard but I love the individual RGB lights they're actually beautifully lit and really really bright as well too. Now as for the trackpad, it is a just normal nice decent trackpad. I had no problems with the responsiveness, but this is a gaming laptop. You more than likely will have a mouse connected to this anyway. As 
playing games on trackpad is just not I don't know if you're an expert doing that definitely love to hear your thoughts on that on playing games using trackpad here now the speakers they actually had decent speakers they actually had a bit of bass and actually had a bit of volume which is actually a surprise for a gaming laptop so definitely decent now got a good amount of ports uh, and definitely I definitely had a really fantastic experience with this Helos 3D15 Special Labs Edition. Now, I hope you find this video informative and enjoy. If you did, if you support my channel, smash that like button for me. Share this video out. It does help me out. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.